I'm Dawn Rodriguez from the Information and Knowledge Group at IMI, and today I'm talking to Dr. David Malden, our Deputy Director General of Research and winner of the CGIAR Outstanding Scientist of the Year Award. First of all, David, congratulations on receiving this award. It is a great achievement for you and an honor for IMI. How do you feel about receiving the award? Thank you very much, Don. Of course, I feel thrilled. I feel honored. Uh, I feel somehow an extra weight on my shoulders. And I believe this is a tribute to uh, International Water Management Institute to create the environment to make this kind of uh, achievement uh, happen. You've been acknowledged for your exemplary leadership of the comprehensive assessment of water management in agriculture. You've also been recognized for the work you've done in water accounting, water productivity, and other areas. Can you tell us something about these uh, new concepts? Yes, uh, Don, at the time these other concepts uh, were developed was a, a time I think many people in water were shifting the way they were thinking. So at EMI we were shifting focus uh, from a, a narrow view of irrigation to a view of irrigation competing with other uses of water. And I think the reason this happened is basically water scarcity was beginning to develop as agriculture took more and more water. As more and more water was needed for cities, there was less water to go around. So at EMI with colleagues, right, there was a lot of stimulating thought about how do you account for how much water uh, agriculture uses versus how much water other uh, sectors use to show that kind of competition and to start to examine trade-offs in different water use. The second thought at that time was, well, if water is so scarce, right, there's not that much for agriculture, surely a solution is basically to produce more food with less water, and that got a lot of discussion on this uh, concept of water productivity. And at the same time, we there was good ideas on, on looking at uh, different kind of interventions that, that uh, would have positive impacts for a basin that was with the, the hydronomic zoning, as well as looking at river basin trajectories. How do, how do river basins develop over time? What kind of changes are happening over time? Was there any resistance to these uh, new concepts, uh, any controversy, any debate? That you know, Don. If um, if you put out an idea and you don't get resistance, then you begin to worry a little bit. Well, was that an innovative idea or not? And it, in fact, all of those the the water accounting, the water productivity, uh, did meet and continue to have a lot of debate and discussion around them. In fact, uh, people now are very much coming back to ideas of water counting. It's morphed and, and improved over time, but there's still a lot of uh, debate and discussion about whether this concept is the best, how to, how to make it better. So it, it, that's been the exciting and fruitful part of the, the science and work at here at EMI is also that ability to discuss both inside as well as uh, discuss these concepts with the rest of the world. One last question, David. The Consultative Group on International Agricultural Research, or the CGIAR as we know it, awarded you for your work in the field of water management. Uh, in doing so, they veered away from the traditional area of food security and crops. Is there any reason for this? As you know, Don, the CGIAR is changing, has been changing over several years, uh, and has recognized that water management and food security are indeed closely related. Uh, I believe we're in a situation today where water scarcity is a reality and is a constraint to food production. Uh, water and agriculture uh, is often the cause of problems of water scarcity. So there people are recognizing the need to focus on water, both to address issues of food security, as well as to address issues of better sustainable 
uh, water resource management. So I think it, to me it's no surprise that, that the CGIR uh, would value and will continue to value uh, work on natural resource management and water management in the future. Thank you, David, and I wish you many, many more years of innovative and fruitful research. Thank you uh, very much, Don. It's a pleasure to express these ideas with you.